afternoon, everyone. If we can have your attention, we'd like to give out the awards for the Lions for last month. Adam alluded to how great December was, and we had a special challenge that month. And I mean, that's not real cool. I had to lose my hair for how great a December had. So we got to hear it on that one. So, you know, there's 10,000 other companies out doing what we're doing. And the way we're going to grow this thing is by delivering excellent service to our customers. And that's how we're going to get customers. That's how we're going to keep customers. And that's how we're going to grow this business. And we're going to keep that going into 15. How do you spell it? I'll tell you. C H O P T A N K. Chop Tank Transport. Like a karate chop? And tight, tank. Like a fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> chop Tank is our owner's middle name. Uh, chop Tank. I think that's actually an ancient Wamapoke Indian word. It's a river here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, but it means a body of water of large current. Chop Tank Transports is a logistics company and our job is to uh, match up companies that have freight with independent drivers that are looking for uh, loads for their trucks. Defining logistics. Well, I believe the term came around in the early 19th century <laughs> during the First World War when things had to be moved from one place to another. It's a complex uh, operation involving a lot of moving parts, but I haven't actually Googled that, so don't look it up. Logistics is the ability to um, make something go from point A, B, C, D. So we just make it easier for either a customer or a carrier who needs help. Yeah, we're just the, the I guess, the main communication between our customers and their product. A uh, typical day, there's really no typical day. It's different every day, so I really couldn't tell you what a typical day is going to be like. Gordon Gecko. That's that's what it, that's what it's like when you're on the bottom of Wall Street. I would compare it to the New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> Fast-paced, driven, very motivated. I mean, what, what do you think? Busy, awesome, exciting. It's a lot of fun. I think people have a tendency to overlook the logistics because it's behind the scenes. But I think once they investigate it and they they find out how dynamic that it is, they can see themselves doing it. If you just want to come in and, and push numbers all day and, and make the same boring phone call, it's not going to work out for you. But if you're driven and you want to be successful, Chop Tank's the place for you. I need that competitive edge. Yeah, if I'm coming fresh out of college, I can tell you this, it'd be the easiest transition I'd be looking to have because one, you know, you come out of that classroom environment, number one, we're going to shove you in a classroom, you know, and you're going to start learning. I can tell you this right now, I'm pretty sure we're more technologically advanced than the college I graduated from. <laughs> What's unique about working in this industry is there is never a dull moment. We are busy, uh, we look at the clock at 8.30 in the morning and the next thing you know it's 3.30 in the afternoon. There's never a dull moment and that's what we like about what we pitch up to. There's a career here, it's stability. Yeah, my, my three to five year plan is up. It's the best place to work. It's Come the in. only place to work. We have a great group of people here and uh, we have people that are committed to providing a high level of service to our customers and I look forward to coming here every day. You know, I've seen this company grow a lot over the last five and a half years I've been here, and it's all been for the best. I've worked a few jobs in my lifetime, and this is it. This is where I want to be. I don't think you're going to want to use my answer. <laughs> Sorry. You can cut this, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> they would love that. Oh, yes. Uh, we hit a goal a couple weeks ago. And the owner of the company shaved his head. And uh, he probably shouldn't have done that. It, it's not a good look for him, but he's not going to see this, right? Um. <laughs> <laughs>